Hi, this is Thundi from BorderWork.com, uh, back from New York, and this is this is actually a look at TouchWiz on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. So we got the update today, and uh, first thing you will notice is the bar below. It's different from what you have your typical Android bar. First of all, you do have your, of course, your back button. This is your home. This, of course, is your multitask button. And this is a snapshot button. So you can take snapshots. I can take this snapshot right there. You heard the sound. It says screen capture saved. Done. So I have taken a snapshot of this screen. And finally, you do have your mini app button, which gives you a plethora of mini apps. Right now, it's five. You have your task manager, your calendar, your wall clock, your pen memo, calculator, and your music player as a quick in. So you can actually use this at any point in time to multitask. It gives you a second layer of multitasking with um, the interface. So this is, you know, I'm gonna just drop this down. So um, a couple of things that are new to touch with um, on, on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. First thing um, we'll jump into is actually the settings. The, in, as you know, with TouchWiz, in your notification bar in your Android smartphone, you can drop the notification bar and you do have quick access to your power controls. And so Samsung has added that to TouchWiz here by when you hit the settings button, you have your quick access there for your Wi-Fi, your notifications, your GPS, uh, Bluetooth, as well as uh, flight mode. So I'm actually just going to crank this up, turn auto off and crank this up so you can see that much clearer. So it uh, allows you, the, these settings are actually in the bar, in the notification uh, area immediately. So you can have quick access to those. Now going to the settings themselves, you can see the setting background has changed from the dark bluish color that you had with regular um, Android 3.1 to this white background, which is easier to see and easier to, to look at. So you can actually go in of course, the, most of the controls are similar, except one, uh, one extra addition here, which is motion settings, where you have tilt motions and pan, which I'll show you in a second, which you can actually use to um, expand or decrease screen size, and as well as move icons around on your screen. So that is uh, in the setting area here. Now, if we jump back out, uh, uh, a couple more additions here you have in touch with are your the hubs. You do have a new social hub, uh, you have a music hub, and of course you have a media hub. Now the social hub itself, you can see here, you can add your, if you just jump into that, you can add your Twitter, your Facebook, as well as also your messages. We'll get to that. So right now my social hub, as you can see, my, my Facebook and Twitter, I can go through those. This is all my feeds. I can also select individual feeds and just look at my Twitter feed specifically or I can go into my Facebook feed there I can um, then in messages messages is an aggregation of all your messages so all your email accounts um, uh, either uh, your Yahoo or Hotmail accounts and uh, business accounts could be aggregated to the messages here so you can see some of the messages I have in here and this is a full aggregation of all my messages all together and of course I can go in I can go to account I can add a new account you can see the different accounts I can also add LinkedIn as well as email and activist exchange in here so that's the social hub and it's uh, it's a very nice combined feature that you know Samsung has added to that. Also, your calendar pulls from your calendars from your different um, emails as well as your um, social network sites. So, for instance, this is actually pulled from my Facebook here. So, that's actually from my Facebook calendar. You do have, um, if we move up here to the Music Hub, confirm this, just load this up. Uh, Samsung's added a Music Hub uh, to allow users to purchase music uh, using their Samsung accounts and you can actually go in sample there's a couple of free tracks in here that I mentioned but you can also search by genre you can create a playlist and um, my page because I don't have anything here yet and you can look at features as well as sign into into your Samsung account and having a Samsung account plays in, plays a very big role which I'll show you guys in a second but that's pretty much the music hub which you can use to purchase uh, music and things like that uh, you also have live tiles so you can see this is my uh, my picture frame and it's just cycling through uh, pictures that I have there you can see there with uh, Bowman there 
in the bus and you can also see a live tile of your weather which we can actually jump into and um, you know it shows here in New York if I actually switch cities it shows Boston here and it shows the current weather you can get more um, information you can do a weather map uh, you can get more detailed information uh, with this um, in, in a whole scope, so which is, is something very nice. There's also swipe on there. We'll get to swipe in a second. Um, actually, let's just jump into swipe now. So you do have a new swipe keyboard, which you can enlarge. You can actually, um, if I actually do this right, you can actually move the keyboard to any position you want on the screen. So I'll allow you to actually swipe pro uh, properly. So you can have a smaller swipe keyboard like this. I can swipe, you know, board at work in there as you can see on the top or I can make this a full size keyboard and still swipe so you do have full swipe functionality here which is pretty nice and it's pretty cool that they give you a keyboard which you can customize to your own settings here so uh, let's go into the uh, media hub so we've, you've seen the social hub we've seen the music hub uh, actually I didn't pull that up so let's go to media hub here which Samsung has added to this now your media hub um, I haven't actually set that up. Your media hub allows you to download movies, TV shows, day after TV shows. So you can actually download shows um, or episodes of shows you missed the day before. So it pretty much takes the whole role of your DVR. And the cool thing about it is, um, which uh, if you have an account, you can actually you don't actually have to download all the shows once you you've either purchased a show or you own a show. You, you can actually stream them from. Um, uh, Samsung's cloud-based service that they have with the Media Hub. So you can actually go through look for movies, you can go through genre, um, of course you can go through um, new in store as well as the top 10 movies they have now. TV shows, you can actually search through uh, the different stations, Fox, C CW, NBC. You can also search by uh, season premiere. I believe you can also search by TV time as well as price drop. So there are very many, uh, so it basically shows that aired, so you can actually go through the dates. So I can check for shows that aired uh, sun on Thursday, 7-28, and it showed me all the shows that they have available for that, and I can either, you know, purchase burn notice or, um, you know, purchase something else. So it's something that's very nice and something that Samsung's added to here, which is pretty cool uh, to have overall, and it's something that, um, that actually adds an extra element to what TouchWiz is overall. Now, um, one thing I did mention, I said, you know, it's, it's key to have a Samsung account because once you register and sign up your, uh, your tab with a Samsung account, if you lose your tablet or you misplace it, you can actually locate your tablet yourself. So what you would do is, first of all, you would go into your settings. And I believe you go to location and security and find my mobile which is sorry remote control app so you actually select that and it says this is the first time I do it so I'm going to actually have to create a Samsung account United States agree to terms accept all right, I have a Samsung account, so I'm going to sign in. So I've signed up for my Samsung account, and the remote control access is you just have to go to samsungdive.com. And if you lose your device, you can actually just go there and ping it, and it'll actually find the location for you. Now, if it's something where you, you think you lost it at home, all you have to do is actually um, uh, ping it and it'll actually ring the device so you actually your Samsung uh, tablet will ring like a phone and you'll be able to locate it within the house so that is a nice cool feature Samsung has added to TouchWiz here um, let's just head out overall uh, TouchWiz works very well I like I do like the live tiles um, it'll do it is a little bit sluggish you can see some of that sluggishness there um, which um, is something that uh, slowed down a little bit, but they, they've, I think it's something that eventually they will probably work out the kinks. But so far, it's uh, so far it's pretty good. Um, you do have a task manager, of course, which is very key and vital with Android. And the thing about the mini app widgets is that they actually are true widgets, so you, they actually float around. So, for instance, I can go to the web browser here if I just pull this up. And I still will have the widget on top, so I can actually do stuff with the widget uh, while I'm 
uh, doing other things. So clear memory, let's just do that. So all 13 applications clear. Uh, one more thing to note here is the tilt functionality. So it says here you can tilt up back and forward to enlarge or reduce. So if I actually hold down this two and I tilt down, you can see it's actually reduced the size of the screen. I can tilt back up and it's expanded it. So it's one of the new um, motion functions that Samsung's added into this as well as the uh, moving of icons. So I can actually hold this and I'm supposed to move it left and right. I haven't gone this down, but basically if you actually slide your tablet left and right, it will move it to a different panel. So that's something to look at and definitely check out. But uh, overall, uh, I think Samsung's got a good job here with TouchWiz uh, on, the, on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10 point. If you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, let us know. Also, for people interested in looking to download this, Samsung will be pushing this out on Friday. So it should be available basically, uh, you know, tomorrow uh, uh, for owners of uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab. And um, just, you know, pay attention, you know, just be on the lookout for those. So this is Thunder from Borderworks saying thank you and um, always enjoy entertainment.